Season one, episode three, part two. We just got done slaying the redfish and now we are heading offshore to chase a variety of species, but to get a little redemption on a giant Goliath grouper. Crazy that we've got all these great baits out there and all these fish want right now is shrimp. I don't even think it quite hit bottom yet. <laughs> I got something small. Snapper after snapper after snapper. That is wintertime fishing in South Florida. Bloop! And if you need new cabinets. If you need new, Mike, 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 Mike! And that's how quick it is, right there, baby. That's a good fish. That's a giant, giant pin. That's a good head shake right there. AJ? Could be, not a shark. How's your line? Good? Plenty of line. Okay. Good That's fight. a good fish for sure. Listen to that smooth track. Yeah, man. That thing is running. It's working, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> God, that might be an AJ. Is it an AJ or a permit, dude? Dude, if it's an AJ, that's crazy because it's <laughs> not even that far off. Dude, what do we got? Let's go. Something good. I mean, we've got like 10. Oh, I see color. Yep, it's yep, an AJ. It's an AJ. <sighs> Dude, that's a good AJ. That's a good AJ, brother. I'm not the leader. Yes. <laughs> nice, nice, yeah. Oh, catch there we stays go. off right there. What a beautiful fish. Dude, and I just love how they have that vertical line running down. It just gives them that look like, yeah, he's he's let's mad. go, bro. I mean, pure muscle, and he's probably a good 20, 25 pounds. Oh, he's yeah. Strong fish. But dude, so shallow. Amberjack in 40 feet of water, it's pretty crazy around here. Another good mic. Go. Bring home to dinner, Daddy. <laughs> Someone's got to. Oh, oh, strawberry. Strawberry. Bro, but these things' mouths are so wicked. Such a pretty fish. It's very pretty, but the world record on this fish too is like something stupid, like six pounds. Really? Yeah, it's not big. They're a species of grouper that doesn't get big, but their mouths are just crazy. And he hit it like he was something bigger. After we had the excitement of the amberjack, you know, that was a pretty rare catch in that shallow of water at that wreck. You know, I was like, man, we're, we're already two for two for the day. We got our big red, we got a crazy mystery fish. Let's see if we can get our big Goliath. And uh, yeah, that's what we got, our big Goliath. You can tell by the go fish camera, the Goliath grouper drags the bait and us into a piece of structure. There you go. Oh, dude. Yeah? Dude. Oh, it's a fish, bro. Yeah, he's rubbing on something. I don't know how I feel about that. Man. I think he took us in? He took us in somewhere. I feel it. Okay, hold on. Let's give him a little slack. Oh, yeah. It's 100% of fish you feel. We're just gonna have to muscle his ass because I got 800 pounds on there. That <laughs> ain't breaking that. <laughs> oh. Woo! Oh, oh, let, me, let me let him run a little bit. <laughs> I mean, he's on the rope. He ain't going nowhere. Get out of here, bro. Aw, oh, bro. It's all right. Let's see what happens. He loves him. <laughs> 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 I think I still might have bait. Yep. We 
dropped the bait back down, and this time, I was ready. Dude, I think I got a Goliath. I don't know, we'll find out. Good one? Yeah. Yep. Oh, he dropped it. He's back. Come on, eat it. Got him. Got him. Got him. That's a small guy. When I hooked into this fish initially, I didn't think it was that big. I mean, yeah, I thought I got a couple feet on it, but I, I guess I was just really bringing up my slack. And then it just sat on me. And I was like, what's going on? One, two, three. Okay, that was tough. Four, five. This is a big fish. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, he's pulling. Get him. Get him. This is not a small one. No. Nope. There we go. He's coming. No, oh, man. He's up off the bottom. Bro, this is stud. <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating. And then all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. Rope goes tearing through my hands. This was my monster. This was my chance to redeem myself from episode one. I finally got a good lock on this fish. I feel like I'm getting it. Mike, help me. <laughs> Did I just drop it? No. <sighs> it's a monster. Yeah, it's me. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's huge, it's huge. Let's go, let's go. God. Mike, wait till you see the size of this. Oh, it's a dino, it's a dino. Oh my, oh my. After about 30 seconds, this thing's ripping me. I asked Mike to grab the other end and help me. Mike grabs it, he realizes a big fish. We start pulling it together, we get it up. Mike passes it back off to me just to, I don't know, bring it home. And uh, yeah, ripped through my hands. <laughs> Again, gripped down as hard as I could, stopped that fish, started bringing it in, bringing it in, bringing it in. The whole time I'm bringing it in, I'm just anxious because I know I've got Mac sitting here filming me. I know this is the name of my business, the fish that I'm in. I gotta get this big one up. Mike, wait till you see the size of this. Oh, it's a dino. It's a dino. Oh my. Oh, shit. Yeah. Get him. You got it. Bring him home. I think this is mine. Oh, yeah. You're probably right. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's close. Oh, man. He's a stud. Oh, 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 boy. It whooped me. Oh, man. Look at that. What a fish. What a fish. <laughs> Relief just comes pouring over me. I finally got my big fish up next to the boat. It's a solid 350 pound fish. I'm looking at it, I get a DNA sample of it, and I go, I gotta get in the water with it. I gotta release it. You know, I haven't marked any sharks today. I'm gonna swim this big boy down. So that's exactly what I did. Got in the water with it, took the hook off, went out there, looked him up face to face, just gave him a big stare of thank you and shoved him down. And when I shoved him down, you know, he was gone. One, two, three, gone. And that's just, that's what's so crazy about this fish, that it's so big, it's so powerful. And after you get them up, you have your fun with them, gone, like that. I mean, they're the true predator, the true king tut of our wrecks here. They're a giant species, they camouflage perfect into their environment, and they're, they're bad to the bone. That's exactly what they are. Yes. That's Giant. what we wanted. <laughs> I don't know if it's what we wanted, it's what we got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was gnarly. Man, that was that was a beast. So what 350 you'd say? Yeah, at least. Okay.
Mike made us throw one more bait as the sun set in Boca Grande. And of course, he hooked up. Oh, he got it. He got, got it. He got it. Get him. Got him. Oh, 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 oh. oh I'm getting down. That's a good one. I'm getting down. Get 30. He's around the piling. He's around it. Let me get you out. He's off. He's off. Oh my god, look at that dolphin trying to eat it! Oh my gosh, I can't just believe I just got this thing! Oh my gosh! Dude. Nice snook. Look at that. Nice mouth. snook, Mike. Look at that bucket. Look at that tail. A little tattered there. Oh, that's definitely a nice one. That's a nice wintertime snook. Dude, that's a great wintertime snook. Absolutely. The fish just flush in there. Plenty of bait. You see the dolphins are. Super aggressive here. We I gotta hope that the dolphin doesn't get him. <laughs> Should we send him home? Yeah, send him home. Go on, buddy. Go, go, go. You know, these episodes that we film when it's my days off and I got trips actually the next day, it's rewarding. It, it builds my confidence for my trip tomorrow, knowing that if I could catch these three species in a day on my trips, you know, go from inshore to redfish to amberjack to giant goliath grouper. I know if I get one of those done with my client the next day, it's gonna be a great adventure. So going into my trips after days like we've had today, confidence is just through the roof. Like, let's go, let's go. You know, people pay me good money to put them on good fish. And if I can go out there on my days off and get it done, I know I sure as heck I'm gonna get it done when they're on the boat because my level of performance just goes up when I have clients. It's just how I've always ran my business. I have great days fishing by myself, but I always have better days fishing with my clients.